Right. So hard to, so hard to just chooch in these days. So hard to be choochin'. Which way should I go here? Uh, I don't know. Let's go down Fulton Road here. Oh, what a cluster. Mm, 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 mm. Trying again. Maybe I'll see if I wipe out my fourth stream of the night, right? Let's head down. Uh, hey, Cheryl, let's head down to the little town of Fulton here. Lord, aka Little Mexico. Welcome to Fulton, California. What a crazy night. What a cluster, you know what. We're back. We're not going to lose signal again. Watch me get whacked by the train tonight. Excellent pick in this picture, yeah. Well, you know, it frustrates me because I had a good plan all set for tonight, Cheryl. Uh, how you doing, Maggie? And uh, just all blew up, so we'll just have to um, drop back for plan B. What a cluster, you know what? I mean, I just, I've even lost the flow of the whole story up there because I was just so frustrated between the uh, third world store owner and, uh, and all the homeless on the uh, street. And I'm just frustrated. I couldn't even show you guys that. Right. Fulton has great fruit stand. Yes, it does. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, I'm safe. That was really, uh, that was really touch and go. Really touch and go. This was the limits of the old fire area here in 2017. How you doing, Bablin? Thank you, sweetie. Good to see you. Let's tighten that up to a 50 millimeter view here. Here we go. Rolling down Fulton Road. I'm gonna see if I can now get a decent cup of coffee. This was the limit of the fire in 2017, the westward spread. Up in here. Total of 12 miles. Gives me flashbacks. I think they got that Cambodian temple. I don't know, it's been so long since I've been up here. The Piner Pioneers. Piner High School. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, this was all closed off. This is where National Guard were all situated to keep people from going left in here. People like me, the fire looky loo people. See, we got Piner High School on the left here. Home of the Piner Pioneers. I've been up here in years. Oh, thank you. I'm just very frustrated. I'm very untypical of Rosie tonight. I'm very angry tonight. Very out of character for me to be all, you know, just mentally disheveled right now after that experience. It was like the worst chooching experience of 2021. I don't expected that to be a great one. That thing turned out to be a little slice of hell. Let's see over here. Dude, get off of my butt. If the IHOP is closed there or what? Rod and Robbie. Maybe they have. I guess I could go down one more. I don't know if Rod and Robbie. This place probably sucks ass. I don't know. Yeah, one more. I think the Arco station will be better. You know, Arco takes uh, credit cards now, huh? 
How about that? I think they do now. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna blow off a little steam tonight. There's Burger King. It was short. No, nah, I just I didn't like it at all tonight, Catherine. Thank you. I mean, I'm just. You know, why in the hell can't somebody make a uh, bonded cellular phone if you don't have to spend five thousand dollars for a live view system? Can't you put two company cell signals, combine them, and get the strength of both of them? Plus, the sun is really pissing me off tonight. Man, if I was landing a plane in that, it'd be a real nightmare. Right. All right. Yeah, you missed a lot. I'm gonna blow. Uh, I'm gonna lose my shit in a minute. I'm gonna get a cup, real cup of coffee now. Oh.
That's a pretty good cup of coffee. That is a pretty good coffee. I should get a beer. I should have about five shots of bourbon. All right, let's get ourselves. Uh, do it with me. Let's get ourselves. Whoa. Let's get ourselves re centered. Breathe in. Breathe out. Think of butterflies in a field of flowers. Do 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 Breathe in. Breathe out. Let us enjoy our cup of coffee. Okay, very nice. AM, PM, delicious. $1.89 for a nice coffee tonight. Put yourself in the, I want to put myself in the fetal position. What's up, Grimpin? <laughs> I want to put myself in the fetal position. Uh... Oh, man. Right? I mean, I just can't even believe the experience that I just... It started so good, right? It started so nice on the Guerneville Bridge. We're walking around. We're having a great time. Hey, how you doing, Lisa Ann? I'm a little bit angry tonight, honey, and that's a real rarity for me. That's a real rarity for me. Right, I was just about coming down that road. I thought I better just kill the stream or I'm just going to lose my shit on this live stream tonight. Watermelon Mountain Dew. I'm not a Mountain Dew drinker, to be quite perfectly honest with you. Oh, man. Yeah, not good. You ever see Rosie upset? No, I never lose. I never lose my stuff. Driving across the Green Bridge. You can remember that, Catherine? I don't know. I don't, wouldn't even... I hardly feel safe sending myself across there. So I went away and come back. What the heck is going on? Just a really bad night in Guerneville tonight, Chef. It started out really good. And I'm going to try to go slow. I'm going to try to be descriptive. Uh, you know, the guy exposed himself to me on 3rd Street. Another guy's talking about 69 Thunder. Well, let me... Let me uh, let me back up a little bit. It's all good. Hey, skunk, what's up? Yeah, I'm having a I need to have a coffee just to mellow out a little bit. It's all good, right? We're walking around Guerneville. We're having a great time. We're talking to people. We're talking about the guy, the plane he lost, the radio controlled plane. Thank you, Patsy. Technical issues. <laughs> Is that what you call it when somebody publicly exposes themselves at you? All right. You know, I went to try to get a cup of coffee, and then we walked down 3rd Street in Guerneville. Well, one of the reasons I wanted to walk down 3rd Street was that's where a lot of the flooding was when the Russian River overflowed its banks. It went down into the town, and it all collected down by third street there and i remember the guy had a hardware store and we went into the hardware store we looked around i felt sorry for the guy so we go two blocks i see the odd fellows lodge there that's cool and then the next block down i could not believe how i thought i was in san francisco's tenderloin i looked to the left there's a guy who looked like a whale Okay, he had a big, he didn't have a shirt on, he had a, he had like his drawers halfway down, and he had like a big pop belly, it looked like a beach ball, okay, it was really weird looking, and he was rolling back and forth, right, and I thought, holy crap, and he's laying in all these cans and trash and all this stuff, I thought, this is kind of odd, maybe the guy got evicted, right, or something like that, and he's having post-eviction stress disorder, or something, right? And scarier in the alley of doom. How you doing, Justin? I'm now I'm back in Santa Rosa. I was talking about Guerneville, California. 
I'm then walking forward. I'm already thinking this is weird. Now, all of a sudden, I look ahead and I look to my right, and there's like four or five people sitting on that on outside, you know, with sleeping bags, tents, and blown out looking um, chairs, office chairs that somebody threw away, obviously, and they're sitting there. Then I walk a little further. I look to my right, and holy crap, there's a whole, there's like a zillion homeless people there. And all of a sudden, I'm I'm there with the stick right now my signal has gone at this point right i'm thinking you guys are still with me you know i got the selfie stick with me and i'm like you know and people are starting to get kind of pissed off right like one one guy one guy how you doing how you doing robert one guy mumbles something to me so finally i get up a little further with that incident i'm friendly i say hi to everybody you know what i was thinking to myself god it is so bad here so i go down a little further where there's a coffee shop on third street and there's there's a man and a woman they have their jeep there there's a black jeep and they're standing outside and i said to them man what the hell happened down here this is like the tenderloin this is like the tenderloin in San Francisco. It was so bad, the trash and the filth. And they said, yeah, people were just, the, t the town is just, people are so exasperated. They've had to close businesses and stuff over in that area because these people were just on the streets. So another guy's walking around with his blanket. Well, when I first got to town, my thumbnail, you could see there's a guy just laying, you know, in the street with his, like his, I don't know, he's on the sidewalk with his head up on a rock or something. I don't know what the hell that was all about. I got my pepper spray. That's not the issue, right? I mean, I'm not going to pet. I didn't you know nobody was going to make an aggressive move to me. But, you know, I didn't expect to encounter that situation, right? I never knew. It was, it's been, I haven't been there since the pandemic was kind of underway, maybe eight eight months ago, nine months ago. If that, I wasn't expecting that, right? And there's one guy just pulls his drawers down, right? And pulling his wiener out and shaking it around. Helicoptering his wiener. Oh, that's interesting. And he's asking me where he can plug in his, um, his charge up his phone. It's like, you know, that's the least of my problems right now is where you're going to, where you're going to charge up your, what's up for? Uh I got out of there. I went out with the coffee and the guy walked in the store. Hi, the guy doesn't say, just very mean. Some Middle Eastern guy really just, uh, I said, you know, this is not a very, it's not a very nice town. And he said, what do you mean? I said, I come in here and I say, hi, you don't even acknowledge me. I said, it's just, it's just, uh, and he starts to give me a story. It's just, you know, I just get tired of dealing with stuff all day long. Uh, you know, bums. I'm like, what, what do I, what am I, bum? <laughs> I got money, right? <laughs> Down by the Safeway, lots of wooly, buggy. Yeah, uh, it's it's worse on Third Street. It's worse on the other side down there. Terrible. They force you to have a residence to get food stamps, so there's no homeless here. Well, California has a different philosophy. Uh, and it's a philosophy born of riches, right? There's no state that's wealthier, spins out more, more GDP, more economic wealth. Uh, it's just a powerhouse for wealth creation. And people feel guilty around here, right? So when it comes time for doing, I think that they overdo, right? They do too much. And therefore, it encourages people to do what they're trying to alleviate. You know, I have pepper spray. I laughed and said, my God, is that all you got? And he zipped up and laughed. Yeah. It's not all of California. It's just places that have a really liberal mentality, like L.A. When you had Mayor Gil Garcetti and, you know, uh, Pete Wilson... When he was governor and, um, you know, Bill Bradley, they would never have put up with that bullshit in L.A. to walk out of City Hall and feel like you're in a third world uh, country with tents and, and uh, you can't even walk down the sidewalk. You're with, 
risk your life. You wouldn't see this in Dallas, Texas, right? You wouldn't see this in uh, Houston. You sure as hell wouldn't see it in uh, Jackson, Mississippi or something. I guarantee you that. Ryan, how you doing, Brian? So, I just sent in the signal was shit. I just had to just get out of town. It was so bad. I'm just like the hell with it. You don't have to res in to get it. The count, country just, yeah, the county just loads the card up. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, thumbs up or appreciate it, guys. Thank you. I'm not usually out of sorts like I am tonight. But here they just load up your card. Okay, you don't have to be anywhere. The benefits are very generous. So, you know, yeah, EBT. That's what it is. So you don't need a residence or anything like that. The, the benefits are, are lavish out here. Lavish. So, you know. Now they've only reached the point in California now where you have to prove that you're looking for work now or else they uh, they cut off your unemployment. So that's something new. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Prancer. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm just a little out of sorts. It's been a cluster, you know what, tonight. So I thought a cup of coffee is this, right? When a government does too much to create a series, it does. It actually holds people down and it has an opposite effect, of course. Chef, of course it, it does. Whenever you subsidize something, you get a surplus of it, right? Simple, basic laws of economics tell us when we subsidize something we get a surplus of it all right bottom line you uh subsidize homeless and you grow a huge uh homeless population right because people will migrate people are economically driven they're economically sensitive they'll migrate to where the benefits are greater when do you think the when, when do you think the people of LA are going to get all fed up with the homeless? They're getting fed up now. They've already cleared Echo Park, right? They've already cleared Echo Park. This is one of the reasons that people want to go vote against Gavin Newsom and kick him out of office as just the start of a counter trend. Uh, and I told you, while the rest of you, my prediction is, hey, how you doing, Judy? My prediction is, how you doing, Valkyrie? When the rest of you are going blue, which you will be in Texas and, and other Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, while you're going blue, right? California will start to be tacking into the uh, tacking into the red. Trust me, trust me. The voters have had it up to a bad here with all the bullshit so how you doing betty nice to see you from southern minnesota yeah it's hard for people to get free benny ask for i are gonna put a notice up where all the okay had to be forced to move out of it yeah he was attacked by a homeless man and go down the news so you subsidize something you get more of you're not helping people you're hurting people you think that you're helping people, but really, it truly, it really helps keep people down. When you go to restaurants, you have to dining because there's no workers, do they? Exactly. You know, there's just, like I said, something big's coming, Chef. I can feel it in my bones. Something big is coming. compared to every other state in, uh, in California they're very high for the very wealthy but if you don't if you make a moderate income you don't pay a lot of taxes in this state this state gets a ton of money from rich executives exercising stock options and selling you know their initial holdings of stocks and all that that live in California and all that stuff So I don't know. Fish tents in West Hollywood for they would work on fixing it in no time. Yeah. 
So that was a, that was a really negative encounter tonight, and I wouldn't have minded so much, but I didn't have good signal tonight, and that was very frustrating because you guys were missing some epic shit on Third Street there. I mean, that was right into the lion's mouth. How you doing, uh, Mackenzie? Thank you. Yeah, I'm careful out here. Hey, Lydia, how you doing, babe? Lovely Lydia, gas tanker drivers are already making 150k a year. Yeah, they deserve it. They damn sight deserve it, Skunk Cape. Right? They deserve it. Those guys kept this country rolling all during the pandemic and stuff. Right, having a little coffee. They kept everything. Um, uh, hey, Slenda, how you doing? I miss that. Um, gas prices in California. Yeah, they're running down the gold down there. <laughs> yeah, gold face down in the river, floating down to the sea, huh? Uh, oh, brother, next time, feather with the left, and that's right, you feather with that left. And you get that attention diverted to the left, and you uh, come in with that right, you know? You come in with that right. Bless our truckers, man. The unsung heroes of the pandemic kept those wheels rolling. No downtime. You drinking a coffee with me? Lulu, how you doing, sweetie? Thank you for your kindness. Lovely Lulu. How you doing, um, Monica? Good to see you. Sorry for bailing earlier. I was so frustrated at the stream going in and out and in and out and in and out. I just got tired of it. Just us. That is a thing. Hey, nice to see you, Laura. Uh, so it got kind of uh, got kind of touch and go tonight. You know, it sucked. Um, Rosie, your camera's still a little blurry. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. I've closed all the apps in there. It's the best I can do tonight. Best I can do. Um, I don't know where the Verizon started downgrade me on the down low. I don't know what they help do. And I noticed that when I get to the end of the month, because I use so much data in the month, and they hate the fact that I'm grandfathered in, on a cheap ass unlimited data plan that I've had for years they're pissed off and I just think they choke they throttle down my uh, signal at the end of the month uh, yeah I know chef who is power the answer everything more taxes rules cut the fat yeah <laughs> cut the fat glad you're back thank you Mandy uh, <clears throat> I've been happy be with Verizon except in uh, <coughs> Healdsburg <clears throat> last time was a disaster now out in Guerneville it's been lousy out there so <clears throat> I think they do too uh, I think they do too Laura I absolutely think when you use as much data as I do when they get to the end of the month they're throttling my uh, throttling me down on my signal. Uh, that's why I can't wait to go to Mexico because tell uh, tell cell in Mexico I get better better signal down there than I get up here with these carriers. Anyway, between with the guy exposing himself and playing with himself on the street and all the people, I felt so uncomfortable. But it's one of those things that all of a sudden, have you ever gone into a situation where you don't know like you're going into a situation, like you're going down the street and you're used to seeing, you know, maybe one person wallowing on the sidewalk or something. Okay, you're kind of equipped for that. And then you go another 20 feet on, it's like, whoa, what the hell? I'm in the middle of the tenderloin down here. There's... I'm surrounded, but any any one of these people could just go off on me on a, at any minute, and I'm just not mentally prepared for that, right? <sighs> Meanwhile, the guy's babbling about 69 Thunderbird in my ear, and it's like, what the hell? You had that done many times? It's 
crazy. Crazy. Uh, Elmer, thank you very much for the um, wonderful shirts. It was nice to see Missy Jen uh, today pop by. She's finally reached her ultimate destination of uh, Germany. But really happy to um, see her come into the chat today. Yeah, I can take care of myself, but I didn't expect to be in that, right? Um, it's like in Vegas. When you go down that one alley, you want to really push your limits. You want to really push that red zone, right? That tachometer up to 5,500 RPMs. Right? And you just don't know how bad it can get when you start down that alley. And we've been in those situations lots of times where all of a sudden we're redlining and we have to think fast on our feet and uh, trying to keep low key and trying to keep calm. That's why I say studying to fly an airplane should be a breeze after street chooching for eight years. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Uh, man, it's insane. Uh, beautiful. Yeah, it's such a beautiful little town, right? It's such a beautiful. Yeah, I, you can't. I'm not the. I'm not equipped to. You now the problem with me is Jerry. I don't have. I don't have a reverse. Right. To me, it's unnatural to walk into something and then do a 180 degree turn and then walk the hell out of there right that's kind of unnatural. i i don't have a reverse gear so when i head in we're going to see it through to the end no matter what happens no matter how bad it gets we're just gonna we're gonna it's like an icebreaker the ice is thickening and we're just powering ahead and praying right yeah they're a lot more uh chill in summerland yeah, Summerlin is great, uh, Laura. Summerlin is beautiful. I love Summerlin over. That's really nice. I mean, I just, I, I admire. I don't know whether, I thought you were in Houston. But I admire, you know, that you're that successful, that, uh, you know, you can have that, um, you know, you deserve it, you know, to have that uh, life and everything. That's beautiful. It's just, it's not a world that I have ever been able to really relate to in my life. But, uh, you know, much more comfortable and kind of street level. But Summerlin is, yeah, I mean, I've never chooched in Summerlin, right? Because as everybody knows before I go, is, hey, I'm chooching Summerlin tonight. I would have crickets in the chat. No, I know what you meant. Summerlin is nice. Yeah. Summerlin is nice. Another weird guy with uh, these guys all wear these dusters, right? They look like something, just some figure coming out of the old west. Ooh, ooh, ooh wah, wah, wah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> some kind of shadowy figures coming out of a Clint Eastwood movie or something. Summerland had a mean ghetto. I don't think so. Summerland was always nice over there. Um, you know, you go around Charleston and you go around uh, Baltimore, Maryland Avenue. Now you're talking about real ghetto. <clears throat> uh, no wiener fire in the hole roast, right? Um, but you know, would I like to live in Summerlin? Yeah, I'd love to live in Summerlin. Um, it's, and there's some really beautiful homes in uh, Summerlin and up as you get up towards Mount Charleston up there, there's beautiful up there. If you guys ever go to Vegas and you ever drive up like Mr. Z and I did uh, up to Mount Charleston, that area. Uh, when we were going out to see if we could find a ranch up there, that's beautiful. You live in Laguna Beach, and the worst thing that happens is our drive-by is laughing. Yeah, I was going to say, Hobotron, the worst thing that ever happened, the worst crime down there is just bad taste, right? That's, <laughs> that's the only crime against humanity down there is just poor tasting. <laughs> right? Like the real housewives of uh, OC or something, right? 
That's the only uh, that's the only controversy is poor taste down there. Yeah, failure to recycle. Yeah, it's always five to eight degrees cooler. It's just a nice area. You know, it's people aspire to live in yeah, excess of poor taste, right? Just take Clint Eastwood with you in the slums. I bet he can still kick ass at 90. Yeah, I was watching some of my, you guys know I'm going to go for a private pilot license. And uh, Clint's stuff comes up because he, he flies a helicopter. And uh, they had a video of him leaving a party in, I guess, 1991 at the Big Sur flying his helicopter out of there. How you doing, Chip Nerd? Laguna Beach. I grew up next door in Newport. Kale, that would be cool. Kale, why don't you pop a bikini on, honey, and send me some nice... Uh, I'll send you a Dorito bikini. Huh? Uh, love you. Hey, Deb. How you doing? Sid's Angel. What's up, Deb? Love you, girl. My Louisiana girl there. They so do, Clint, but I'm too, uh, I don't see, you're, you're attractive, that way, you're attractive, uh, Laura, you and, um, your sidekick, I enjoyed when you guys were, I don't get into controversy stuff, because I don't really understand, that's not my thing, but I enjoy seeing people out having a good time, when you guys went to the, um, Whole Foods Market or something like that. I don't know what the hell you did. If you, you've been, I've been flashed. I've been flashed a ton of times on the street. Stop at Lion Habitat Ranch. Now I'm afraid of lions and stuff like that. I just, um, you know, goats and um, yeah, living the dream. How you doing? Good to see you. Goats and pigs and chickens and all that stuff. It's, I had some weird video come up in my feed. The top top ten animal drops off of cliffs. That was weird, right? That was a weird one. Uh, I don't know. It's weird the stuff that they put into your put into your feed. Ooh, but I did enjoy seeing Clint Eastwood's ranch. I did a nice video down there of exploring Clint Eastwood's uh, ranch in Carmel. Yeah, that was really weird. It had dogs, packs of dogs falling off cliffs and a damn walrus fell off a cliff. I was like, how in the hell did a walrus get like 300 feet above me? <laughs> did somebody just back their truck up and <laughs> roll the thing off the back? No, ibexes and goats and weird, weird stuff out there. No doubt you guys have seen the ibex that crawls along the wall like that in France or wherever the hell it is. They things are pretty amazing. Thanks for watching, Rosie. You have a standing... Uh, well, thank you very much. Yep, you're very welcome. Like I say, I don't get involved in the um, uh, stuff because to tell you the truth, you know, I enjoy uh, uh, Glenda. I've known her for a while, but I just, you know, I like to just enjoy people for the, for the fun content that they do and stuff like that. So... <clears throat> Uh, Jen Jen, nice to see you. Did when did Jen Jen sneak in here? When did she sneak in? Uh, why do you guys think it turns? I don't know. I just never understood that. Like, uh, still open my Gmail once in a while, and some guys attached a dick pic to it or something. Or God, yeah, it's like you know, dude. That's just like. Same same reason I don't want to just see a close-up pick of a woman's wazoo, you know? <laughs> it's just like it's not. <laughs> uh, I just feel like taking that and just 
Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> ah, I don't know. Guys, and women are from, uh, men are, what is it? Women are from Mars, men are from penis or something. I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> what was the old thing? I don't know what it is. I don't know much, right? Steering wheel desk, that's right. Courtesy of uh, Catherine, who I thank very much for that. So, glad you're back. It was, it was Guerneville of Doom tonight. It was for such what used to be a really nice town and cool town to go around in. Um, a matter of Women are from Venus. Oh, okay. Who knew? <laughs> who knew, right? I don't know. Son of a... Who knew? Mountain. That's right, Elmer. VFR to IMC rules, right? Elmer knows what I'm saying. VFR to IMC. Right. The hell's whistling? Sometimes I feel like I'm in an old western movie. Woo woo woo. Wah wah wah. Woo wah wah wah. Woo woo. Oh, this coffee hit the spot, though, I'll tell you. You know, some people, coffee makes them jittery. It kind of calms me down, right? Because I'm just about to lose my shit over there tonight. The good, the bad, and the trolls. What's up, Rouge? Venus is her name. She's got it. Ooh, oh, baby, she's got it. I'm your Venus. Uh, I guess they're called privates. How you doing, Terry? Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I, I kind of give a pass because, uh, yeah, do you have ADHD? I kind of give a pass because of a lot of these people are blown out because of drug use that shattered their minds. They'll never recover. Once that uh, crack gets into you and it gets in your mind, some poor people one time on the pipe can just, it just just rewires their brain you know and they're, they're they're useless they're just babbling idiots on the street and they don't even know what the hell they're doing uh coffee adderall and meth there you go um a loving troll greetings what's up kenneth how you doing yeah trolls don't get enough love right oh man I think I'll just go to um, Jack in the Box tonight. <sighs> feel like I'm pretty calm down now. I don't even know what the hell time it is. I'm your Venus. I'm your fire. Your desire. Mm. Thing is, how you doing, Mastos? I never see women do it. Very rarely do women do crazy shit on the street. Right? 838. Very rarely do uh, <clears throat> I see women doing crazy stuff. It's weird. You know, they might yell at you. They might uh, get up in your grill. <laughs> but they're generally not exposing themselves and doing all that. That wasn't a bad cup of coffee for a buck eighty-nine. Yeah, they'll go caring more. They'll be in your grill more than guys. They'll confront you more than guys will. Right. They will definitely um, 
confront you more. But I'm sorry we lost the signal over there, guys. We had a hell of a chooch. One bourbon, one scotch, and one beer, said Sheila. Love that song. Love that song. 1138 on the mean streets of Ohio tonight. 38. Go crazy tonight for dinner. How about a chicken or fish sandwich instead of the usual burger? Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's, um, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's explore that maybe. Let's, um, uh, let's, let's do a little reconnoitering tonight. Let's do a little bit of reconnoitering tonight. All right. Yeah, burgers and must. What do I got? Some kind of... What is this? I think this guy put his fingers on my phone. I don't know. There we go. Cheap. Yeah, I don't want to be a real expensive, right? Go five a burger. What does that mean, Kenneth? What is that? Trans, talk to me like I'm a fourth grader. What do you mean? <clears throat> talk to me like I'm a fourth grader. Let's see if I can destroy my tires here. Boom! Let's see how the hell we're going to get out of here. Making taquitos. <clears throat> Roll up your little taquitos. I bet uh, Jen Jen's a pretty good cook, huh? Let's see now. How in the hell we're gonna get? We got to go cross town here now. So I think we'll go down to Third Street. Does Third Street come all the way over to Fulton? I can't remember. We have to go through a shitty neighborhood. Ninth Street. Does Ninth Street come all the way over here? I don't know. I think we got to go college or something. I don't get up this way too much. Let's figure it out. Where all the mobile home parks are. Let's see, what the hell is this? is this that's not college that's uh well that was college well we just missed that Woo! well we just missed college avenue i just don't get over this way too much <clears throat> I don't know if 9th Street comes all the way over here or not. What the hell street is this? 3rd Street. We'll go up 3rd Street here. Let's, uh, let's run cross town here. Let's do the cross town run. There's a big oak tie pot still open, huh? What the hell's going on in here tonight? They're having a group Zen session or something. All right, we're running cross town here. Let's run cross town. Massage parlor. Maybe I need to unwind with a bit of a massage tonight, huh? Massage to soothe the savage beast. I don't know. I'm about to give up tonight, Rouge. Probably the signal's terrible. was destroyed courtesy of Michigan. Right. We're just rolling 
across town here, west to east. St. J.X. Wilson Elementary School. Yeah, hopefully it'll improve. Sometimes it gets better. ready to throw this phone into the under, into the garbage truck how you been Rouge damn thing uh, we're just rolling across town here's Imwale market this is my farm market down here About to go camping for 10 days. Nice. Really nice. Awesome sauce. Yeah, I hope it's clearing up. There's just, we don't have any control as live streamers on what the signal is. We're really at the mercy of our um, cell phone provider. Verizon usually does pretty good until it gets to the end of the month. Continuing to roll across town here. Hey James, how you doing? How you doing, Foofer? Good to see you, honey. Look at this new one. This is where we used to buy our Christmas tree. Now look at this apartment house they put up over here. Jeez. Yeah, it gets it's it's darker down in Southern California. It gets darker earlier than up here. Yeah, that's a used to be our Christmas tree lot right there. Mike's trees. All right, look at it now. These greedy developers. Thumbs up or appreciated, guys. Stack them, pack them. That's all they do out here in California. Is stack them and pack them and put a greedy eye on all that land for the rancho. Lick their chops. Whoa. We're coming by the packing plant here. Here's the old Pepsi Cola bottling plant. There's Del Monte. The signal's a little better now. Yeah, they, they uh, I don't think they have a parking garage. They gotta have something now. You know construction, so what 
deal with the surf so I, the the deal is probably um when you get around a salt water environment like miami if you don't um, treat and seal concrete and things you can actually have what's called splayed concrete it means it cracks and when it cracks moisture gets in it does anyway but it's a much slower process moisture gets in and it starts to rust rust the metal the support in the building I suspect when all is said and done it's just the structure being eaten away by the elements there yeah that's good it's clear again awesome I suspect it has to do with materials of construction and uh, not keeping up with maintenance. It's one of the downsides of condos is that you live and die with everybody as a group. So I like to have individual home. Now it's not possible for everybody to have that, but you know, condo groups. Yeah, I've been around a long time, Foo, for, I mean, I have liberal arts education. You're taught a little bit about a lot of different things. And I worked in construction for to put myself through college, so. Yeah, no proper drainage and all that water and all that. Just, you know, water is the enemy. Water, corrosion, they're the enemy of concrete and uh, steel. And there's really nothing you can do about it. Over time, they would always come down anyway. You ever see that YouTube series, When Humans Are Gone, shows what how everything degrades. Your condos are great to retire in, but man, make sure you got a decent reserve and people never check the reserve. They never check if there's any deferred maintenance. So they're buying right into this shit, right? Right, they're buying right into, uh, they're buying right into that, right? That's the problem. People don't check to see what they're getting into. Same thing with timeshares or a nightmare. They're like flypaper. Once you're in them, you're stuck to them, man. They're, you're stuck to them like flypaper. Almost impossible to get out of them. Only a crappy real. I, I don't know, uh, Cheryl. There's a lot of greedy uh, salespeople. You know, they're not required to just, you know, Put the stuff in front of you. Here's the CNRs, the covenants and restrictions. Here's the balance sheet for the property. You know, yeah, they put it in front of you, but um, you know, you can say, well, it's your responsibility to read it. But we know people don't read it. We know that for a fact. You're relying on proper up exactly. And some people get in these horrible situations. Who was that one cat, whatever her name is, that uh, had all the backed up fees and all the extra assessments for work? Yeah, most don't understand the financials exactly. See what this looks like. I don't know. I've never done this before down here. So I say beware. The weather is beautiful today. 70, about 83 degrees was the high today. Right now it's 64. Beautiful weather today. Beautiful weather today. Beautiful day. All right. I 
never done this Chick-fil-A before. I have no idea what the hell to order. This will be the first time in my life I've ever had Chick-fil-A. They're lined up at Dutch Brothers tonight. Let's see what the Dutch Brothers line. Not too damn bad tonight. They're not on the street there. All right, let's see what the hell happens here. I got no idea how this thing works. This is gonna be, let's see. Oh man, look at this line, holy shit. Are you kidding me? What the hell is this? What is, how does this thing work? Wow, look at this. Are you kidding me? Drive through full of both lanes. Oh, hell no. I'm not waiting 45 minutes here. Hell no. Shit, no. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. Let's see if I can get the hell out of here. Ain't no way I'm going through that mess. I've waited long enough to eat. I'm not going to wait another friggin' hour. Right? Yeah, the drive throughs are just ridiculous. I'll get it I'll get it another night, skunk. Don't worry. It's just that I don't have, you know, it's getting on 9 o'clock at night. I've eaten one bowl of granola this morning, and that was it. My damn eyes are going to pop out of my head if I don't get something to eat soon. Don't bust my balls, Cheryl. get something to eat. I just, uh, you know, I get a headache and, you know, I just get feisty, right? Had to go to the post office, ship shit out today. To wait in that damn line. And I, you know, I, I don't even feel like, I feel like I'm not even, right, like I can't even speak English. These people don't even understand me at the post office anymore got some Korean guy how you go and I you know and I just can't even explain stuff I'd like to ship this to Dubois wherever the hell it was Dubois somewhere where in the hell what the hell state was that in Dubois Pennsylvania wherever the hell that is I was like how you spell that I said it's on the package right you don't have to there it is, man. It's like, how you go? Yeah, we'll get over there. We'll get over there one day. We'll get over to Chick-fil-A, skunk. No worries. I just, tonight, I just can't afford to sit in that line. Shemay's seen that experience of, uh, and her mom loves uh, Chick-fil-A, right? It's all about the chicken, baby. It's all, all about the chicken. All about the chicken salad and their sandwich. I've never had Chick-fil-A in my life. Then again, I've only had... Uh, I've only had the... Um, the hell was the other one? I've only had Taco Bell twice in my life. Alright. Alright, here we go. Let's make it right here. Alright. Let's go across town. Yeah, you get faster services to walk in. If you can 
find a place to park. Right. Yeah, we'll be over Chick-fil-A one night. Tonight I just got to get something to eat. Oh, well, thank you, Kiwana. Aren't you sweet? Uh, Taco Bell ripped me off. Forget it. Ten fifty for three slim ass tacos and a drink. And then they hit me up to donate something for kids. That's all right. Buck, 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 buck. Buck, 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 buck. That really made me madder than hell. Right? Why can't we tighten that up to a 50 millimeter view? There we go. There we go. Yeah, Kiwana's kitchen. She's awesome. Very creative. I like the way her uh, daughter helped her out too on getting Rob cooking. Here we are again, back to the apartment house. Yeah, that's one reason I've never gone to Chick-fil-A before is because of their uh, homophobic. Uh, but I'm willing to look past that just to give it a shot. Shrimp fried rice video. Oh, that's all good. Hell, I just made one the other night. Shrimp and bacon. That's good. Awesome. I gotta get to the Asian store and pick up some uh, sesame oil. I'm all out. No, I don't like Taco Bell. I didn't enjoy it. I thought it was uh, ridiculously expensive. I'm not made of money. Bunch of bullshit. town again. Taco Bell sucks. Yeah, I'm telling you, Kuana, I went for the combo. It was like three of those nacho tacos, and I didn't even feel like I was filled up at all. So they, they made up for it by giving a big drink. Right, a crappy cheap soda. They made up so they look like you're getting a big soda. It's all like a sleight of hand magic trick. Because they handed me the bag, I'm like, man, this thing is light. And I opened it up to make sure I got all the uh, three tacos that I was supposed to get. And I was like, what the hell? Like, really? Y'all forget something to put in there? It was like $10.50. Then she asked me, do you want to round this up? Right, for kids. I said, yeah, okay, you know. So I'm, I'm at 11 bucks. And then you get Kentucky Fried Chicken here. Guess how much a damn bucket of chicken is? $39. You don't think it is? Chris and I went at Christmas time. $39. talk about almost dropping a pant load when they told me that going through the drive through Insane. You can hear it on the live stream. $39. Like, are you kidding me? How can you tell somebody that? 
insane bullshit. Get in here. What the hell was that? Let's see. Where the hell am I going? Shit, I'm in the wrong place again. God. Wrong street, guys. <laughs> Like the second time I've done this. I wonder why this is all fenced off. Oh, they shut the Burger King down. This is preview of coming attraction, guys. Right. No staff. Gone. You're going to see more and more of that. The collapse of the service sector. Just as I predicted. Mommy, how you doing, babe? Mommy girl. So there you go. As predicted. Casualty. Let's be careful here. We got all these idiots on the road. You know, I don't know what you call a livable wage, skunk, because the, you know, as you've seen, the um, in and out burgers pay him $17 just to show up, right? $17 just to show up. Yeah. That's that not a living wage? I don't know. So how in the hell can the Burger King compete with that or McDonald's? They can't. They can't. see a lot of uh, you're gonna see a lot of service places shut down we just don't have the population to support what people want to do yeah well look at you Craig there would be paying you 27 bucks an hour for the overnight that's smart Right. Nice to see you, Craig, by the way. Craig said, shit, I might as well get some of this money. We are, Sherry. You can feel it in your bones. You're going to be in a Mad Max world. Bad moon rising. Nineteen for gas. Kipper, how you doing, babe? What's up, Kip? How you doing, girl? From the great state of Texas. How are you, babe? Yeah, the Mad Max world is coming. It's gonna be dog eat dog. Y'all better make sure you don't end up as hood ornaments in the middle on the front of some damn Kenworth or Peterbilt. <laughs> 12 a.m. Oh, well, thank you, Callie. You're very, uh, very lucky to live in Toronto. Man, I love to go over to Pearson's Pier and look over. So beautiful. The skyline, the CN Tower. Man, that's amazing. What a great city, Toronto. Good food scene, too. Really good food scene. 
probably as good as like Montreal, right? I think Montreal's got to have a good food scene, right? French cuisine. I just want to go out of my golden days and just, I just want to be a fat slob. That's all. All right, here we go. Chat the whole crew from Lowe's. That's a big, oh, nice. Thank you, Craig. Tell him thank you. Thank you. I love Toronto. I love the time I spent up there. Uh, uh, Church Street. I was right up there for the uh, Pride, 2019 Pride. It's real lucky. Uh, Lee, lots of flights canceled due to lack of pilots, right? Our economy can't continue going the way it was. The pandemic changed everything. <clears throat> changed everything. When I was in high school, my colleagues learned three or four different trades. That's They're long gone, Surfer Boy. That's correct. It's going to be a dog-eat-dog. Dog. Yeah, your pride parade was tremendous. I had such a good time there. Uh, God, I was surprised that... Uh, Elvis Travels was able to park his camper van right by, right by the uh, Church Street. There, it amazed me. Good for food, but they have an attitude. That's okay, Skunky. As long as the food is good, I'll try my few words of French. And as long as you give it a shot, I think they're pretty cool. Right? I mean, especially these days, they want the money. The money, honey. The money, honey. Money, honey. What's up, 365? How you doing? 365 days of rain wear. I think I'd blow my head off if I had to go 365 days of rain. I just can't believe prices haven't gone up on the menus yet. They got the jack deal. Deals are so damn expensive. So you just get the two junior jumbo jacks. It works out okay. You get a jumbo jack value fries and a value drink. There you go. Life in the States was the best, better selection of clothing. I don't know. How you doing, boss? So I want a uh, Jumbo Jack, a Value Fries, and a Diet Coke. That's yeah, okay, 365. We all got to be something, right? Yeah, it's climate change for sure. Welcome to Jack in the Box. We're going to try a delicious chicken fajita pita today. Don't forget to add one of our cheeseburgers. Um, thank you for offering, but no thank you. Could I get a Jumbo Jack with extra ketchup, please? You want cheese on that? No cheese. A value fries and a value drink diet coke please that's it i came in under six bucks that's nice yeah a few rvs there yeah, i was waiting for you to text me to tell me what you got uh, if you were able to get the horn a day defensive rounds or not with the story on the 9mm uh, if they had steel aluminum jacketed or
Yo, oh, well, thank you, Craig. That's nice. Tell him to sub up. All right. So we got one burger, a value fry, and a drink for five ninety eight. How about that? Yeah, I don't eat them often. I rarely eat fries. I don't like fries too much, but I, they're not too bad here, the value fries. Ramblin' Rolls. And this comes in under 700 calories, which is good. One burger, three egg rolls, and bacon potato wedges. Yummy, yummy. Oh, and Coca-Cola. I'm not much of a fries person. But I'm not going to pay $4.99 for onion rings. It's like, good lord. Can you imagine that? gonna happen. Alright, what a crappy night live streaming, huh? Yeah, I got a good deal here though, Kale. You know, for $5.98 for a nice burger, some value fries and a drink, I think that's a pretty good deal. made onion rings in your air fryer nice kale why don't you put on a bikini and then just show us how you did it um, do a video just a thought <laughs> you don't like coca-cola need to sleep had no idea you came back on it yeah I came back after all that bullshit you know all that stuff. Thank you, Noel. It's such a bad stream that you showed up tonight. That's what I love it. It's so bad that you're here and breaking heat records. Yeah, we got climate change here. Let's face it, it's accelerating too. Place in Tulsa that charges three dollars for four onion. Isn't that crazy, Juice? Not insane. I mean, you lost your mind. You're going to see fast food places closing left and right. It's just lack of people. They can't, they can't put it, it is insane. The pandemic changed everything. You had a dumbass dog. They got the uh, owner in there humping burgers and shit. That's, <laughs> that's the times we live in there. I don't want cheddar peppers. It looks like he's about ready to quit. What did you expect with all the money they created? 40% of the money supply in the world has been created in the last year. 
You don't think that has consequences? I haven't gotten anything yet. He's giving me like a giant soda. Got the owner in there. Monday night humping stuff. Good night, Patty. Better check everything before you leave the window, too. This guy's walking around with a burger in his hand here. <laughs> yeah, we got a real hold up now. Yes, please. Huh? Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, boy. The four owners in there like he's lost. Yeah, life is a challenge and we ain't quitters. You better be tough as nails. You better be street savvy coming up. Bottom falls out of this baby. It's going to make the 1930s look like a Sunday school picnic because we didn't have people on crack and meth and every drug under the sun. Alright. Let's see, I don't know. It's too dark to even be there. That's spooky. safely put it right here by the boost mobile here we go all right see a little bit of the uh, laundromat there I mean eat here <laughs> are you kidding Laura 589. You get the value fry. Thank you. And you get the uh, jumbo jack, one of them. So that's good. And we got a value drink here. So I think for 589. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Hmm? Now it tastes like the guy gave me like root beer or something, the wrong drink. Tastes nothing like a diet. Tastes nothing like a diet coke or whatever. But we do have a language barrier. Plus, the boss is in there. He's walking around holding a burger in his hand, right? No wrapper, no nothing, no glove. And I'm wondering, where in the hell is that going to go into? Yeah, I don't drink iced tea. This just tastes weird, this drink. The hell it is. Kid didn't the kid didn't know his ass from a hole in the ground in there. 
Well, this is it, Laura. All I had was a um, a bowl of uh, a cup of uh, like granola this morning. That was it. What's this thing leaking? Joy juice or something? Shit. What kind of joy juice? Drove a hard bargain. Yeah, I got a good deal. I got a good deal. What the hell, the guy's got like joy juice all over it. I don't know. Ah. Hmm. Uh, on the lake, uh, I'm late. The lake took me out. What does that mean? The lake took me out? What does that mean? <sighs> yeah, they spam the chat. They get taken out quicker. One oh one Ashley. Wow, one oh one today, huh? Hey Bronson, how you doing tonight? What's going on? What a night. What a night. We're having a heat wave for the next three days, yeah. Uh, world's changing, guys. Hey, how you doing, molasses? Good to see you. Good to see you, honey. Years ago, I worked for PepsiCo and met a lot of food were garbage and treat their workers bad. That shouldn't happen in USA. Problem is, how can you... Um, you know, we have this weird anom anomaly now where it's actually cheaper to eat out in a lot of cases than to buy, you know, hamburger meat and make your own hamburgers, you know. So there's, there's been a lot of stress on uh, a lot of stress and stuff. Dying in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, I, I hear you, Bronson. So these fries are tasteless, utterly tasteless. Yeah, under six bucks. Yeah. Fast food work is right. Well, the, uh, you know, you let a few managers go, and we've seen the Burger King is shut down now. Mm. See, I'm not even going to finish these fries. They're just tasteless. Just tasteless. Uh, 115 last two days in Oregon, normally around 80. Yeah, but I don't, you know, I don't like to throw ketchup on there, everything, right? I'm just uh, not like that. Some have been serving burgers right through the pandemic. A lot of people have. A lot of people have. But, you know, when you have. When you have the in and out is paying 17 bucks an hour, anybody that rides past that, that works at a Burger King, they're like WTF. You know, they're like, why am I working for 9.50 an hour here? I mean, what the hell? <laughs> right lane gaming. Wrong beverage, lousy fries, and they want to raise. Mm. 
Well said, gaming. Wow, you stopped eating beef two years ago. Do you eat chicken? $10 an hour. See, I mean, it just gets to the point where they can't, they just can't economically throw down the food, right? I'm waiting, I'm waiting for him to raise the price on the In-N-Out burger. McDonald's here in Canton, Ohio was 13 bucks an hour. Yeah, we're right on the coast here, so it's one of the reasons people like to live here. Like right now, <clears throat> right now it's 63 degrees. Yeah, Craig was smart. He's like, what the hell? If they're paying that, I'll take it. Yeah. Give him a break and maybe a smell. Nah, fuck the fries, I'm not eating them. I just don't like fries. What's that place next to you? Which one? Let's see, to the, um, to the right side is a Mexican restaurant, the Cancun Mexican restaurant. And we've got Boost Mobile. And then over there we got the laundromat. Ah. You can, oh, excuse me. You can have them, Kale. <clears throat> Yeah, baby, I just, I had to cool up a little bit before I came back. It was just so damn, so damn bad. You know, I was so aggravated. <clears throat> there just aren't enough employees, right? There's not, we don't have the population here. Seafood and chicken. Yeah, I can't do seafood here, it's just horrible all seafood is like farm raised bullshit now i don't i don't want to put that crap in me <clears throat> uh, movers working into the night they're uh they're folding up this restaurant for the night they're taking all the uh tables and stuff in
can't leave anything out of here. Schaumburg, Illinois, former home of uh, Motorola Corporation. It's finally cooling down a bit. 115. Well, you just saw tonight, Cobra John, that the uh, Burger King is shut down. A little Vietnamese tilapia. That's all that shit's farm raised. <sighs> Pandemic changed everything. I just got a bad phone call. Cousin's brain tumor. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that, Chef. Jeez. Wow. I'm stuck. I'm very sorry, Chef. Prayers for your cousin. That's tough. That is tough. Five years in remission. <clears throat> so the burger was pretty good. One, um, one jumbo, no, one jump, jumbo jack. I don't know what the hell it was. 500 calories and a few French fries. I didn't eat the rest of. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Your first cousin you grew up with. That makes it tough. Yeah, t pandemic brought a lot of things to. There's a lot of things too. Um, it changed everything. It changed work ethic. It changed. Uh, governments threw everything with the kitchen sink into the fight and um, you know they poured money in like there's no tomorrow so uh, barred and printed and got a hell of a hell of a price to pay hey Tammy weird to me see that stuff is screwed up because uh, <clears throat> we're supposed to be in this great recovery and yet the 10 year the 10 year note United States Treasury 10 year note can't even get at the can't even get out at a 1.4 percent range you know it's insane insane you believe in the power of prayer 30 degrees in five hours. Yeah, that's nice, baby. Uh, well, you better pray, Kale. It's the, it's the end times, guys. The end times. Sorry to hear that, Jeff. Yep. I don't know what the hell that drink was. How can I throw some trash without potentially being assaulted here? <laughs> Damn, it's cold, man. Woo! Let's throw a little trash away. why I like coastal California because you get that um, you get that afternoon ocean breeze comes in and nature's air conditioning 63 degrees you have to sleep with the uh, windows closed every night hey, we're gonna start right away when the shift is over at 6 and I'll stay an extra hour. oh that's nice that's nice Tell me if I'm wrong, but I learned that the U.S. 10 is the expected rate of one with discount. 
when we discount cash flow it does not look it doesn't look good at all it doesn't look good at all it's, it's abnormal and that abnormality has created tremendous uh, disincentive to savings and it's caused a gigantic bubble that's going to be and it's it's going to be the greatest greatest short term destruction of wealth in the history of the world when that goes you know it's just going to just be it's going to be phenomenal it's going to be like a hydrogen bomb when that baby goes off because uh, stock markets are great at growing wealth and they're spectacular at wiping it out the old saying they slide faster than they glide income going down into it well their spending power is any plans tomorrow remember I got the boys coming to do all the landscape work on Wednesday so I'm kind of nailed down tomorrow I'm hoping the FAA is gonna send me an email that my <clears throat> license has been approved my FAA license my pilot's license for the uh, uh, unmanned uh, aircraft remote aircraft is going to be approved so I would have loved to put up the drone but not there uh, so what am I going to do tomorrow probably do some more cleaning uh, get some more stuff thrown away cleaned up fly me to the moon honey I'd love to fly you love to fly you Uh, how do you ever say that you were already approved? Don't you ever say that you were already approved, educated? What does that mean? I'm not sure what that means, honey, but thank you. I guess that's a good thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Is that good? <laughs> approved, P R U D E, or approved? What? I just. <laughs> Oh, I'm approved. Yeah, but you have to have the license in hand. I passed the test, but you need to have, because they do a back, believe it or not, the FAA requires that you go through a background check through the Department of Justice, and that takes up to 10 days. And if you um, go through that successfully, then they'll email you. You can print out your temporary license, and then... Um, then they'll put out, then they'll mail you your permanent pilot's license. So, let me tell you, it's not easy to get a drone license. Not easy. Fly me to Vegas, huh? I've flown to Vegas a lot of times. It's a very short flight. Yeah, the drone videos. I got plenty on my channel, Tammy. In the good old days when you could just put it up and you didn't have to worry about class B, C, D, E, G airspace. Right? People's fantasies and riches belong to the wealthiest country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fly, in <laughs> Fly into the IRS building. Exactly. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> What to make sure somebody's actually working in there? I don't know. Really, really, we we're shortage of truckers. Yeah, there's truckers. Yeah, um, truckers are in short supply. Um, that's exactly right. They need truckers like crazy right now. And no, I've never been to Laughlin. Nope. No. Nope. Never been there before. Some dude did that in Austin. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. That's funny. I've sold a lot of stuff too. I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff on the ranch show. Well, thank you, Darla. Thank you, sweetie. I feel a little better now after that burger. I don't think I'll order fries again. 
<clears throat> yeah, smart dude. Yeah, they sent me. A, I got a check check from the United States Treasury today. I was like, wow, they sent me. Yeah, because I never get a refund. I always owe taxes. And I'm like, what the hell is this? And I opened the thing up. And it's a partial refund on my passport application, which was kind of wild. I didn't see that coming. Did not see that coming. So, 30 bucks. It's happy about that. Webcams is a dickhead. All I have to do is put webcams, capitals, in the uh, block list, and webcams will never be able to spam that in here again. So, I give them a freebie tonight. Uh, but the good thing is, when it's removed from the live chat, nobody ever sees it on the replay. It's, it's, it's like it never even happened. So, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty. I can't stop loving you. All right. Get the hell out of here. I mean, that's the thing. They spam that. They think that somebody's actually going to go to that site. That's the funniest thing of all. I call it the Rancho because it's the Rancho. It's my little piece of paradise. And believe me, for my for my urban neighborhood, that's a hell of a piece of property. What is this person doing? Are they right behind me here? What the hell are they doing? Let's get the hell out of here. Before we have an accident. Weird people sitting around. Yeah, because uh, for for an urban area I'm in, it's the last piece of undeveloped land. And for me, coming from a uh, urban shithole in Baltimore, that's about as close to a ranch as I'll ever get. Right. Damn, I get tired of speed bumps. on nasty sidewalks that's right let's see what's going on down on the avenue of love tonight let's see if they're still dishing out the food under the tents down here tonight let's see what's going on taqueria el favorito is going great gun still Food tents are still rolling. What a great idea. You know, that's really good food. They put all of these uh, trucks in one area, which is really smart. Over here. This used to be the Dollar Tree, now it's Mercado Roseland. Mexican store. Video when the fellows are working at the rancho. Yeah, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna get all that on video when they're doing the work. It's gonna be a lot of work. Be a lot of work. Let's go over here, see what's going on. Let's see. Yeah, they're still going strong over here. Careful here. It's a good place to get a nail in your tire. Yeah, can't afford the Dollar Tree. They moved the Dollar Tree over to the uh, by the Food Max here. Now it's a Mexican market here. Hey, Kaylee. How you doing, sweetie? 
think I just ran over a cone. <laughs> it's a good place to come over and get some food. It's not always nice to see Kaylee. She's another one that works her ass off in life. And go ahead, honey. Don't let me slow you down. Go ahead. You go right ahead, babe. Jeff's got himself a ranch. <clears throat> Chef, you're going to have difficulty with uh, labor, you know, in your business. Is that going to be any kind of difficulties or anything? If you're going, go. Rolling through at eight miles an hour like we're on a parade route. Let's see. Yeah, temps. They'll, they cost a fortune, don't they, temps? Then you gotta pay the temp company. Let's see, is this girl? This woman's got some beautiful daughters dishing out the tacos here. They got that fire going. Where is she? Is that her? No, I think that's the other sister. Yeah, with a temp, you never know what the hell you're getting, right? 30 bucks an hour, man, oh man. It just makes a tough nut. What are they doing over here? What the hell is this? What are they doing at the Peruvian rat? Oh, that was their outdoor dining. That's a Peruvian restaurant. Yeah, the major pain. I just feel for Chef because he has a he runs stuff on a very enormous scale, right? The tacos here. I imagine like that Burger King that closed down. I imagine a lot of service operations are going to be shutting down due to lack of people. Yeah, I had, uh, you can see the review on Sazon, S-A-Z-O-N. Missy Jen and I quite enjoyed the uh, Peruvian food there. It was quite good. vegan party in late August for 3,000 people and I think uh, that can be pretty demanding right trying to do vegan food you know like vegans might be real demanding boy this is really tough to turn in here no, I want to get, uh, uh, I've not had any Argentinian cuisine, but I do have a strong desire to visit uh, Buenos Aires. Down there, that's very high on my, uh, <clears throat> very high on my list. Hey, Kevin, I'm doing good. 
you know, getting the right staff is the hardest part because you live and die by what goes out that door. I'd be scared as hell as a chef. I'd have to be looking at every damn thing. It's like chef when uh, I was at the market cafe in the California hotel and that guy, that waitress brought out a clump of frozen fish that they had just thrown into the fryer direct from the freezer. Unbelievable. And it was the worst shit I ever tasted. You know, for all small fragment. You know, PA is the Paris of South America, so I'm looking forward to that. Eventually getting down there. Get a taste of America in coming years. All right. All right. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, once again, apologies for a very chopped up night tonight. Stuff just got crazy on the streets of uh, Guerneville. The signal was crap. The people were crap. It was just a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, close it on out tonight. And thank you all for coming in. Uh, your thumbs up are most appreciated. If you haven't liked up the stream, please take a second and uh, hit the thumbs up and I uh, want to thank you guys for being here tonight and uh, I will see you tomorrow thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and chef God bless uh, good thoughts for your cousin thoughts and prayers everybody else out there that's in pain suffering same 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 thank you to my wonderful moderators for all that you do so appreciative for all of you. Thank you, everybody.